No, people, people don't do any research before they buy their video games and sometimes they have to play the bad guy. Think of the kids! Let's get into this video. Sometimes the video game world just provides what we need when we need it in the most perfect possible way. For those of you that know, and are probably sick of me mentioning it, got some bad news about my doggo yesterday, and I've been feeling kind of down. Uh, but video games have their way of um, turning things around. And, you know, tonight on a live stream uh, around 8 o'clock Central Standard Time, or 9 if I'm late, after I do the Incredible Salt Mine with Count Dankula, we're going to be live streaming a full response to the video I'm covering here. We're also going to be talking about late, the latest Blizzard changes to uh, some of Hearthstone card art, which is ridiculous. And we're going to talk about EA employees asking for people to stop being mean to them. Just so much to talk about today. So are you ready, gamer boys and girls? I know a lot of you like when I do response videos because they tend to be my most spicy ones. But I want to paint the picture on just how we got here. Now, Extra Credits is a YouTube channel that is, uh, by all fairness, uh, gigantic and very successful. 2 million subscribers and, uh, well, was growing. It might be growing uh, in reverse, but I guess you could still call that growing. 2 million subscribers. They, I, You know, that just kind of shows you how big YouTube is. I had never heard of them. Um, all I know is that I commented on their video and my video got, my comment got deleted because it was the top post. I wonder why. Uh, for people that uh, uh, sure embrace debate, uh, they sure seem to be deleting comments. Now, they put out a video today called Stop Normalizing the Bad Guys from WW2 uh, Socially Conscious Game Design. And immediately uh, was reaction. The reaction was exactly as you expected. It is the age old uh, fallacy that uh, if I play a mage in, in World of Warcraft, that somehow in real life I will also become a magician. I mean, they're literally presenting this argument, uh, and we're going to take a look at some of the uh, dumbest parts of their takes, uh, and we'll go all the way through it later on the live stream. But you see in there, uh, they had a tweet. They made a tweet. Okay, I want to go to this first. New extra credits. Historical and current political context matters in game design. No, it doesn't. Don't treat the bad guys and the other bad guys like they are just one of several morally equivalent character skins for players to try on. Now, their argument in this video, if I could sum it up, is essentially this. Um, if, you, if you buy a, a video game that puts you in a position of like a battlefield or something of Axis and Allies, um, you're going to have naturally occurring uh, references to uh, bad people historically. Uh, their argument is that you shouldn't do that, that you should just have red and blue teams and that you should have no context at all. Uh, they are also saying that in their video, well, I just bought this game and now I'm being forced to play as a bad guy. Well, uh, as you can see, my reply to them, which uh, might be one of my first official uh, out ratios, says simply, Please stop forcing me to play a fictional character in a fictional world in a fictional video game that I chose to buy. That sentence alone essentially sums up why their argument is complete and utter baloney. And we're going to get to that in a second. But you can see uh, there are many people uh, replying to this uh, in a negative fashion. This is one of the worst videos I've seen in a long time. There's Corrupty. Uh... I never asked to play as a member of the U.S. forces either, which, by my reckoning, as a Filipino, did more harm. I mean, th this this is a great argument, you know. Um, oh, I wanted to play, you know, Alliance or the Horde in World of Warcraft. I guess you get to choose there somewhat. Um, plays a game where multiplayer match pits ax allies versus Axis. Goes into the game knowing that it's possible to be put on the Axis team, either randomly or because of team balance. Eventually winds up on Axis time. I never asked for this! The whole video is totally absurd. And when you look at their community manager's reply to the backlash, it gets even more hilarious. You have this Zolaire... 
I don't know, they, them, community manager for extra credits and freelance. So apparently being community manager of extra credits uh, doesn't pay good enough to uh, pay the rent in the one bedroom apartment you share with five other people. But immediately, it's like they, they knew that they were gonna get backlash, but they were trying to get some virtue points with their friends. So they put out, I don't think enough people seem to understand that one, we fully expect this to happen every time we've uploaded a quote, games are political video. And that two, we love losing all the bigoted subscribers. Are you kidding me? Less of that is great. Dislikes are still engagement. So uh, let me translate that. If you unsubscribe due to our horrible take or should you provide critique to our very bad video, you are a bigot. And also, dislikes are, are good. I, I never understood this argument. I've heard it made by people that like, hey, YouTube still likes the engagement. And there might be some truth to this, but the reality is I rarely see videos on trending with like a million dislikes and uh, a thousand likes unless it's like YouTube rewind, you know? So I don't know. This is just like one of those things like, nah, -uh. um, and, and you can see the channel obviously, uh, isn't doing well. I mean, this isn't a massive subscriber loss by any counts, but on, on a channel that normally gains on average 600 subscribers to be down 500 now means they've already lost over a thousand subscribers uh, in, I think the video's only been out a few hours. Um, I guess if I look at the real 298, oh, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, okay. So uh, they continue to have a mass exodus from their channel. All these, look at all these bigots, yikes. Um, hopefully they come over to check out the quartering because all people are welcome for me. Uh, and now you can see on their video, it currently sits at 4K likes, which is all the blue check marks on Twitter who've come in to reinforce this, and 10,000 dislikes. And now for a channel with 2 million subscribers, you know that a good chunk of these are their own viewers. Even though if you look at the channel itself, okay, for a channel with 2 million subscribers, they have less views on most videos than my little bearded basement dwelling uh, butt gets. So, you know, they average maybe 100K views per video. That's pretty sad given that you have 2.1 million subscribers. This this happens naturally over time when you're out of touch uh, with your subscriber base and you publish videos like this. So let's take a look at some of the worst takes from this. This is bad on so many levels. No one should ever have a random chance of fighting for the Nazis. And we should never express that there's no meaningful difference between and allied soldiers or that they're functionally interchangeable this is bad everybody this is something that you need to be upset about a fictional character in a fictional game that you purchase with obvious knowledge of the context of the game and oh by the way i'm pretty sure most people know the difference between the good guys and the bad guys during that era so this whole argument is absurd it's like saying you shouldn't be forced to uh fight it as a as a demon spawn because you know in real life you're gonna think that's real there you are playing your modern shooter and all of a sudden you're a you didn't ask for this, you didn't choose this, and yet second verse, same as the first, there it is. I mean, that's literally the name of your side in the game. Are you kidding me? Again, the implication here is that you didn't do any research, that you are in fact being forced to play this video game. You are playing it, again, against your will, with no prior knowledge of the video game. It's not like you couldn't exactly know what two sides are in the game and what they're called going into it. It's not like almost everybody already knows that, yet you're you're skewing this into some sort of like, they're forcing them to play the bad guys. Get out of here. We can do better than this. Oh, the classic, be better gamers. Even if you put aside all of the people who have had traumatic experiences with these groups, no one should have to put on the costume of an ideology they find abhorrent without actually opting into it in your game. Oh. My. God. There is no way you are this stupid. Nobody is being forced to do anything. They made a conscious decision to buy, download, and play your game. They've had an unending amount of research available to them. They are not being forced in any way to do anything that they don't want to. Yet you continue to spin that narrative. You know, 
some game players like authenticity, you know, and that's not a bad thing. What you're talking about is watering down and making video games boring so that one out of a million people might not get offended. And oh, by the way, I've had to play plenty of woke characters in video games too. You don't see me saying I shouldn't be forced to do it. You see me saying, this game ain't fun. Don't play it. That's how normal people react. And that's how your own subscribers are reacting. And by making people do so, we get them to stop thinking about it to stop thinking of the meaning behind these things. We normalize them. Dun, dun, dun! They've been normalized. And you know, if you're playing a video game, you should be preached at. Every game should be a historical lesson that has been revised and approved by the perpetually offended. It can't, it isn't about being historically accurate. It's about being accurate to the history that they want you to believe in. Now, Obviously, this video is built on the premise that we are all, as gamers, in cages, being forced to play video games that we don't want to play, being forced to play video games that we have, like we don't have an infinite amount of knowledge around them. The game, the video is built on the premise that games should be sterilized. This is an outright call for censorship in video games from a video game channel with 2 million subscribers, and it is absolutely ridiculous. We make them just window dressing for entertainment. Those uniforms, those symbols, become things that no longer inherently revolt us. They reduce our visceral reaction to seeing the embodiment of these ideologies. Now, does this make us totally ignore the history that comes with them? No. But for some people, it moves them from the territory of revolting to just edgy. You know, I gotta say, maybe desensitizing people to this type of terminology isn't the worst thing at all. We don't need to go far. In fact, I'm sure you, the person that made this video and your team, are the same kind of people who will apply the label of the bad dudes from WW2 on anybody whose opinion you disagree with. So maybe it's better off for people out there who have an individual opinion to maybe not have such a huge overreaction to that term since you appear to throw it around so willy-nilly these days. It seems like such a small and simple thing, but it's things like this that erode our safeguards against dangers we sacrifice so much to fight. You know, I'm curious who this we is and what exactly you've sacrificed to help people, but that's neither here nor there. Now I'm gonna wrap this video up and save the last five extra spicy minutes for tonight's live stream because he just repeats the same heinous, incorrect information over and over again. But I want to point out that this is exactly how it works. This is why I'm always saying you don't give an inch because they take a mile. This is exactly why I say you don't apologize because it will never be enough. Because the people that push censorship, is this is how they do it. They do. It's a little bit. It's a little bit. It's a little bit. First, you can't use the okay emoji. Then you can't do the, the, the you know, thumbs up. Or, you know, everything becomes just another thing that needs to be blocked to protect my children. Before you know it, the gaming landscape, as we know, it, will be completely sanitized if we continue to give these people power in our industry. And if we continue to not fight back against it with our voices, of course. This is the case study this is a uh, uh, a perfect example of how uh, authoritarian people who look to censor and control you okay this is how they operate they're not out there saying you know ban all this or ban all that they pick at little things they push a little bit a little bit and then when there's a thousand people pushing for a thousand little things it'll be too late i hope you enjoy your subscriber shed as apparently you enjoy doing so but i'll be over here fighting against moronic opinions like this i hope you enjoyed this video though we'll see you on tonight's live stream and we'll talk to you again real soon